All right, what's up guys? Um, just got off the water, so I want to give you a quick rundown of my kayak and how I have my Old Town Autopilot 120 set up. So here we go. All right, so I got my Old Town Autopilot 120. Uh, we'll start from the back, work our way to the front. So for the back, I have uh, the new black pack. Um, I got 10 rod holders on it, four on each side, two on the back, so I can carry 10 rods pretty comfortably. Uh, inside, I got mostly Plano 3600s, so I got my finesse stuff, lipless and flat sides, jerk baits, top waters, DT4, 6 8 and square bills, swim jigs, jigs, um, I got some underspins and Weedless underspins and regular underspins in here. Uh, I got a little box of regular swim bait heads. Um, I got all my main, I got most of my main terminal tackle in the 3700 thin. Um, then I have a big normal size 3700 for chatterbaits. It's my favorite bait, so I got a crap ton of them. Um, then I got a couple regular waterproof 3700s. Um, this one is DT10s, 14s, and 16s, uh, and the next one is 5XDs, 6XDs, and other crankbaits, like I got a few Mega Bass, Deep X 300s, and a couple other randoms in there, but, so that all fits in here nice, and this new black pack, it's absolutely perfect, it gave me just enough space to fit everything I want, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. And then in front of the black pack, so I got a Plano 3700 bag. It's waterproof, which I love. It's got a hard plastic bottom, um, so it's nice. In here, I got four of the KVD speed bags. Um, I got one for jig trailers, chatterbait trailers, one for all different types of worms, senkos, whatever. Uh, I got one that holds flipping baits, and then I got one that holds my Ned Rig and drop shot baits. And then this. This bag's got two side pockets on it. I usually just put an extra spool of line, which I actually needed today. Um, I goofed up my chatterbait line pretty bad <laughs> on a pretty bad backlash. So I had to restring it. Luckily I had an extra 15 pound uh, Seaguar and Vizek spool in these side pockets here. So that worked out really well. And then in front of that, I stick one of these Plano fold up bags which has all my spinner baits, buzz baits, and a glide bait or two in there. Um, so that all fits pretty nice, pretty snug. That all fits pretty snug in the back here. So, um, and then I take one of these tackle warehouse zip zip up bags and put all my Kitex and, and swim baits in here. And that just ends up fitting right next to the Plano bag, which works out great. I recently just got a catch board because I'm going to be participating in some kayak tournaments coming up next season. Um, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to stash this thing. For now, I'm just sticking it back here. I tried to have it up front, but it was just too much of a pain in the butt to get it every time I needed it. Here is nice and easy. I've seen people who have like some sort of holder to hold it right here. Um, but so far, I kind of just like tucking it back here. It, it's pretty sturdy. Um, I can easily grab it when I'm in the seat, so it seems to work out. This extra spinner bait here, I gotta put that away. Alright, oop, I left one thing out. I also have this Wilderness Systems bag uh, that straps to the seat. Um, in here I got a waterproof uh, bag for if I take off a sweatshirt or something and I don't want it to get wet. Uh, I got an extra prop in here. Get that. Yep, get an extra prop. Uh, I got some first aid stuff in case I get finned by a fish again, which happened, and then my thumb swelled up like a balloon. Um, so I got a few little antiseptic wipes in there and a band aid or two. Uh, and then I got this little Plano box that's got extra batteries, um, a little screwdriver, my license, registration, a lighter, prop pins fuses, washers, allen wrench, got everything I need for the kayak essentially. Um, comes in pretty handy and it all just it all just fits right back in this thing here. Fits in there nice and snug. Could throw a few other things in there if I need to. Sometimes I have a spool of line in there too. Um, 
depending on what I'm doing for the day. Uh, but yeah, it's a great little addition right there. All right, and come to the side. So on the side of my seat, I have a Plano box that's got all my leader line in it. So I get eight pound, 10 pound, 12 pound, 15 pound, 17 pound. That all sits in there. And then I keep a little Cabela's box with uh, rig swim bait, stuff I can't really stick back in at the tackle boxes, or stuff I might be using for the day I can keep handy and close, which is nice. And then I usually just stick a drink in here or something. I usually bring a few different bottles of water out, or you know, a Gatorade and a couple bottles of water. So one goes in the cup holder, one goes in the other cup holder, and then I can just stick one right here, which is nice. For the fish finder, I got a Helix 7, which I will definitely be upgrading to a 9 inch. Not sure if I'm going with another Helix or if I'm going to go with a Lebrant. Not quite sure yet, but I do want to add uh, some sort of live sonar to the kayak. So, kind of hemming and hawing between Mega Live and Active Target. But uh, I really do like the Hummingbird, so I'm, I'm leaning that way, but I haven't made the official decision yet. It'll be for next season, but we'll see. Um, I have that wired comes through the comes up through the through hole wiring kits here the transducer is mounted underneath the kayak there and where the plate is uh, so the transducer cable comes up through here goes through the kayak comes out here um, my battery for the fish finder I drop it right in there I have a little battery bag in there I just drop it in that battery bag and connect it up and it's never given me an issue. So you could also put it under the seat. Um, you could also put it under the seat of the kayak, but I like it there. It's easy to take it, to put in and out um, when I want to charge it. And then the power cable and transducer cable run right out into the fish finder and everything's good. Um, let's see, let's go around to the other side here. So in the front of the seat, I got a yak sack. This thing is freaking awesome. Um, this thing holds everything. I got dye, I got a couple pairs of scissors, I got glue, I got some wacky rings, a couple extra skirts, some snips, hook sharpeners, um, and I keep everything in here when I'm transporting the kayak. Um, I generally keep my scale and my pliers here, um, but they do when I'm transporting the kayak, which I just got off the water. They get put away and everything fits in the wilderness sack. They get put away in here, everything fits in the wilderness sack nice and easy. So that thing's amazing, highly recommend it. And then you get these pockets in the front too where, you know, if, I'm, if I know I'm using the die, I'll keep it in here. The scissors I can put in here when I'm ready to go. You got a couple, two more pockets back here that you can, you know, put anything you want in really. This thing makes, this thing keeps you pretty organized and it allows you to keep baits you might be using for the day here. I like to keep them on the side there too, but I mean, you can put so many different things in this. This is awesome. All right, then we got the dry storage. So this time of year, I'm always keeping a winter hat and a pair of warm gloves. Um, Keeping some hot hands in there. Those come in handy this time of year. Um, but normally in here I just keep, I have a multi-tool that's got a bunch of different uh, screwdriver attachments to it so anything I need will be on this tool. Keep a rag for my sunglasses and I keep my map cards in there. And when I'm on the water my keys will also go in there. My cell phone I usually keep up here uh, so I don't have to go into this dry box when I'm on the water really at all which is nice uh, then my net uh, the net I used to have as of last week it broke but I had a yak what was it uh, it was a yak attack like a net mount or roto mount I think it was called uh, but the net just the net just sat in it like this it clipped in which was nice or it clipped in kind of like this which was which was nice, um, but 
both pins fell out so the thing is useless right now so now i just kind of put the net along this track here and i haven't lost it yet which is nice which is good so i don't know we'll see i might get another one of those uh roto mounts but who knows they're like eight or nine bucks so it's not like a it's not like they're expensive but it did come in handy so we'll see um kayak gets towed around on a Malone trailer. I've been pretty happy with it. It's super light and it's loud as hell. So when you hit bumps it sounds like the thing's blowing up. But it works awesome. And it's super light and so it's got this handle here so I can pick it up and carry it around um, which makes it easier. Sometimes parking's a little tight so I can just pick the trailer up and weasel it in wherever I need to. I almost forgot to mention I have these uh, seat risers two inch seat risers from Navarre Kayak. Uh, they've been awesome. So two inches in the back, these blocks, then you add an inch in the front, so it's one inch and two inch. Uh, just makes it much easier for someone like me to stand up. I'm six one, I got really long legs, so I'm getting old. Um, so with the seat, without the seat risers, it was tough for me to stand up. Whereas now it's a piece of cake. So a couple inches made a huge difference for me. Uh, and then under the seat in the battery box, I got a 100 amp hour tracker lithium battery, which has been flawless so far. So, so far so good. All right, so that's gonna do it for the kayak tour. Um, I got this kayak over the winter, so I'm finishing up my first season with it. The thing's been flawless, it's been phenomenal. I haven't had any issues. Um, the only issue I had is for some, somehow a screw came out of my transducer mount, but Got another screw, put it in, we're good to go. So I'm pretty happy with it. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.